All right. Hello, everyone. Um, uh, Krill will be starting here uh, very shortly. So Krill it has been um, both a, a Julia Summer of Code and Google Summer of Code uh, student with the SIML organization. So he's been developing with us for about two years now on the neural PDE.jl package, which covers physics informed neural networks and also a lot of the deep BSD methods, which I know have been a focus of some of the um, other uh, it's been a focus in some of the other sessions throughout CIMC, CSE. So um, Krill will talk today about uh, some of the improvements to the libraries and the methods that, that he's been developing. Thanks for introduction. Yeah, hi, my name is Kirill Zubov, and uh, today my point of talking will be about uh, physics and formula network methods and uh, also implementation of GPU and uh, in the, in the last of the slide, I show some performance benchmark with GPU. But first of all, it's fixed and for neural network methods is part of neural PDE package when I development. In neural PDE, it's like package that's solving partial differential equation using scientific machine learning. And the three main part is uh, physics and for neural network is automatic PDE solving backward stochastic different equation and also optimal stopping and calm girl backward problems but today we we concentrate on on uh, physics and formula network with optimate solution uh, actually yeah it's two main parts first of all it's like symbolic representation like optimistic solution that uh, allow to present the solution in the sum of uh, the universal symbolic representations and using in SkyML. And second part is uh, the algorithms, uh, physics and formula networks uh, that allow uh, calculate nonlinear partial different equation with some arbitrary boundary condition. So in the next slide, um, in this scheme, we can see how it can be image uh, the physics and formula networks algorithm so we had some uh, uh, partial different equation in some boundary conditions, name of Dirichlet, doesn't matter. And we using neural network and approximate the O, that is solution of different equation. So then we using this equation and uh, create a last function. And uh, we just uh, optimize, minimize this last function and try it will be uh, zero, uh, estimate to be zero. And we just repeat uh, forward and backward mode and uh, uh, minimize the problem. And finally, we have some approximation of O that uh, can be close to real solution. So let's go to the code and uh, let's uh, try to show a two position equation. Uh, the equation, uh, this line and with some boundary condition and uh, some space domain with x and y. In the code for this equation, it will be look like this. Uh, this is a model to get representation. Some of the symbolic representations and using in SkyML. And the idea is that we have some universal uh, symbolic representation for all the methods that uh, exist in SkyMail, and like of them, it's uh, physics and formula networks in neural PDE. So, uh, first of all, we initialize the parameter variable and derivatives, and uh, we defi define define the equation and boundary condition. Um, how you see, this is very simple, very mathematical form of uh, representation of the equation. If we compare with this. Uh, in this, probably you can without uh, some problem uh, identify this equation. And also we create domain. This is all things that we um, represent the, the problem. And the next part, uh, we need to initialize all the things that we are uh, needed for um, uh, create our algorithm. First of all, this is a neural network that we create in using uh, Defect flux uh, method fast chain and uh, neural network have uh, input uh, that have 
that is the number of dimension of the task. And then we creating the problem physics and four neural network that has a chain and some of strategy of calculation. So we create PDE and last of the thing we are using method discretize that actually using our single representation and the parsing in some inner representation for the calculation. And the final problem is some of optimizing problem that contains the last function that uh, you can see here. Uh, and the next we just uh, using this problem and uh, move to the optimizer and just uh, training this last function before we not have some solution. And for two, for this two dimensional portion question, uh, we can have some uh, fix uh, and uh, this prediction and some analytical solution. And this is the error between of the analytical and prediction. So, the next thing that I want to discuss here is uh, how we can use GPU for accelerate the solution. And the problem is that when we use CPU uh, for prediction, it's probably it's very long. And uh, the neural network, the harder point in calculation neural network, it is uh, multiplication between matrix. And GPU is the thing that can accelerate uh, any vectorized and matrix operation. So when we're using GPU, we can uh, really accelerate the training process and uh, uh, save our time in the calculation. So let's uh, show three-dimensional PDE with some boundary condition and some domain. And the next slide, I show some performance benchmark for this equation. So first of all, it's, uh, it's graphics that show dependence between times and the number of the point in the task. When we create the task, we have some input points for prediction is the cardinals of the solution. Uh, how this task we uh, for have a prediction, we use some of uh, points uh, on the grid, so mesh, uh, anyways, uh, maybe it's random point, uh, quasi random. Uh, in this example, we're using quasi random strategy with 6,000 input point and 100 iteration. So in here, we can see that uh, this is the time for this CPU and this time with uh, GPU. and uh, here is number of point of solution. Uh, in the next slide is speed up, and we can see that maximum it's around 3.6 uh, acceleration between uh, GPU and CPU methods. So the next slide is something similar, but uh, this, uh, in this uh, benchmark, we changing the hidden layer in the neural networks. Uh, so the, the blue line is CPU, red line is GPU, and this is the time. Uh, so uh, we can uh, see that uh, actually for this number of hidden line is GPU is not sensitive and uh, probably it's like constant time for any type of uh, any number of hidden layer, any number of neurons hidden layer. And uh, for 140 neurons in hidden layer, we have a speed up in uh, 40 times. Probably it's very much. Uh, and the last slide is uh, just uh, some in, uh, result between prediction in real for pre for this three-dimensional PDE. So, and finally, what can we say? Uh, GPU uh, allow to using more big bunch of the input point. Second, we don't have some maybe 
limited of uh, size of neural networks and with GPU we probably can use uh, really big neural networks for calculation and the last point probably it gives some prospect for handle high dimensional task that's all thanks you for your attention